I'm Kelly Huang, and I want to answer the key questions you might have if you've heard of our FIDA's open source developer tools for data privacy. Maybe you think FIDA sounds interesting, but functionally you're wondering, why would we use this? How would these tools make my life as an engineer easier? Today, we're gonna go through two use cases to show you how FIDAs can unlock new levels of privacy engineering power for you and your organization. So let's take a look at these use cases. First, automating data rights for California's CPRA and the EU's GDPR. Next, we'll talk about privacy checks in CI. So to start, your team can automate data rights for the CPRA and GDPR privacy rights fulfillment. When a user requests to access or delete their data, you know it can be a difficult, if not an impossible task. Your engineering team needs to sift through all the data your software touches, and you know that your infrastructure is sprinkled with sins of past business and technical decisions. Think of all those bolted-on databases, unnecessary UI checkboxes, and integrations with every which app where you scramble to just get connected. Legacy systems, data in too many places, and a quickly changing tech stack create data privacy blind spots that make it impossible for your teams to retrieve and edit this data efficiently. With the FIDA's toolset, you can fully automate your data privacy rights orchestration with the push of a button. FIDA's connects directly to any type of data infrastructure, like Postgres, Redshift, MongoDB, and third-party SaaS products like Salesforce, Zendesk, and Shopify. What's more, when your data infrastructure changes, FIDA's automation can adapt and update as the underlying data changes too. So you don't have to revisit a convoluted set of SQL scripts every time a request arrives. They're as good as fulfilled with zero incremental engineering effort. Next, we'll talk about privacy checks in CI. How many times has the engineering team had to spelunk in the database for data to fulfill some privacy request? Or maybe you've needed the assistance from the engineering team to create a DPA. The right way to build software is to embed privacy in the design of the software so that your engineering team doesn't have to retroactively find and then replace uh, places where PII is used appropriately or inappropriately, as it were. FIDAS ensures that your software team has the tools required to build respectful systems and puts processes in place to allow them to do their best development work for you and your users' data effortlessly. The FIDAS toolset tracks privacy-related changes to your systems and inversion control, and enforces policies in both your source code and your runtime infrastructure. By allowing for privacy checks at the time your software is built or deployed, your team can focus on what they do best, which is build great software. So why would you use these products? There's really two answers. In the near term, using FIDAS means that managing data privacy for your users is an easy and embedded part of your already established processes. Zooming out to the bigger picture, you're doing this to build more respectful and trustworthy software for all citizens of the internet. I'd call that a win-win, wouldn't you?